Ladies and gentlemen, what we're going to be talking about now is I'm actually going to take you back over to surface area. So we previously talked about surface area with prisms, right? And remember the basic definition of a prism is you have a base and a top that are exactly the same. And what it does is just takes the base and you're just elongating it through. So to find the surface area, you find the base and you multiply by that by two and then you find the areas of all the sides. Now I didn't really discuss with you on you know, that being called the lateral area um, because I just wanted you guys to kind of go back into what makes sense and so forth. However, and today what we're going to look at is using a little bit more of some definitions um, to help us go ahead and find the surface area. Now again, if this was a pyramid made out of cardboard, the surface area is going to, um, the surface area is going to represent the amount of cardboard needed to create the pyramid. So what I want you guys to do is if I was going to take this pyramid, remember when we're talking about finding the surface area, do you guys remember when we first did this, what we did is we drew the shape of every single face, right? You guys that? All right. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw the base. And you guys are familiar with the base, correct? Now, what we're going to do is we're, we're going to do for a pyramid is we're going to design a net. And what a net is, is pretty much taking all of your sides and pretty much folding them down in a, into a two-dimensional drawing. So if I was to take this pyramid and I was to maybe peel away all the faces, it would look something like this. Would you guys agree with this? Yes? Would you agree with that, Camilla? I take all those sides, put them together, it would form a three-dimensional figure that would look something like this. Now, Alexandra, what I want you is really important for you guys to understand is all of these sides, if we were to add up all of these sides, all of these sides are what we call the lateral surface area. All right? So pretty much the basic definition of the lateral surface area is the area of all the sides not including the base. All right, and if you're dealing with the prism, the lateral surface area is the complete area not including the base or the top. So here in case is your lateral surface area. All right, now to find the lateral surface area, so we know the base, right? The base is going to be, if we're dealing with a prism that has a rectangular base, you guys know how to find the area of this, right? That's pretty easy. Area equals um, base times height. To find the lateral surface area, it's going to be area equals 1 half p times h, where p is equal to the perimeter and h is equal to um, the slant height. So what I mean by slant height is the height of one of those sides along its face. Not from base to the top, but along the sides up there. OK? So now, if I want to find the surface area of this whole figure, all I need to do is find the area of all I need to do is find the area of my lateral surface area and add it to my base. So it's going to be 1 half p times h plus the area of the base, which is capital B, which you guys should be familiar with now talking about volume. So we find the area of the base, and then we just find the, the perimeter and multiply it by 1 half times the height of the base or of those sides. All right. So let's go through an example, and then what we're going to do is I'd like to